What is happening? He had his head What happened? Sorry, we gotta go. Where are we going? To get rid of this guy. So she's gonna go in the pond. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Allie, she got the bird poop on the head. Oh. He's pretending he's dead. I hope he's not pretending. When he went belly up, we were in trouble. So we are eating Thanksgiving dinner again, because Allie's here. And Sarah made her Thanksgiving extra, kept the extra stuff for her, but we have turkey and turkey and turkey, and then we have some chicken, and I thought I was eating turkey. I didn't get what Thanksgiving is dinner, so mom, I asked her, I texted her on Thanksgiving, and I was like, can you, can I, you do me a big favor? Will you save me some turkey? And she saved me all the everythings. Yep, Allie did not get Thanksgiving this year, because she was, well, she got pie. Right? She was working, but she's here with us now, so we're having Thanksgiving, a mini Thanksgiving before we leave. Yeah. Sorry, we gotta go. Where are we going? To get rid of this guy. I just fed him, so he's ready to go. The big fish is gone today. It's gonna happen. What is happening? He had his head what happened? Why were you eating the flower? Why did you go in the flower? <laughs> I want my face. He's like, I want a bath now. You want a bath? What happened? How did you get in the flower, dude? I wonder if he tried to jump and he slipped and fell. He probably, yeah, he probably did, and then the lid probably wasn't on all the way. Yeah. Well, great. Now we got to get rid of the top layer of the flower, dude. And we got to give you a bath. Yeah, give you a bath. <laughs> it's okay. I think I can get it good. Oh, we got it. <laughs> How big he is. Whoa, he doesn't even fit in that cup. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so we're just, I was trying not to make a mess. We ended up making a mess. Fishy's gonna go in the pond. I'll try to figure out how to get him out of the jar. It's, it's up there. Where is it? Where did it go? What the heck? It just. It's right there. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, I, I thought I couldn't find. Yeah, same. Yeah. You got here goes. Oh, 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 That bird just pooped on our head. Oh. Hey, do we have something we can wipe it off with? No. Yeah, it's no. going to oh. <laughs> There's only bags. You're the lucky one. Unlucky one. Poor Allie. She got the bird poop on the head. She's regretting going down there now, I bet. Okay, we have to wait for Allie, guys. Oh, look at that. So take it out of the jar. I'm gonna jump with that. We'll put it right here for right now, Savannah. So there's turtles and frogs and all sorts of fish in here. Okay, so take the lid off. And we're gonna set this bag right there. So we'll set it there and let it get used to the temperature of the water for about a half hour. And once that's good, then we'll come out and let him go. Sweet. Very cool. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> we'll go in the sun. Still we'll good. put him in the warm water. Sounds Whoa. good. There he is. Still good. Oh. He's pretending he's dead. I hope he's not pretending. I hope he's not. I mean, I hope he is pretending. It's too cold for him, you think? You think it's too cold? Swim away. It was a lack swim of buddy, oxygen swim in buddy. his bag, though. Yeah. Swim, buddy. Yeah, Jace knows the trick. Yeah. He's let go plenty of small little fish. He's breathing. He's breathing. He's got to get him to swim away now. Well, you can see that he is kind of just swimming around here in the shallow area. I'm going to keep an eye on him for a few more minutes and then I think just let him be. He's, he's, he's moving around enough. He's just not wanting to go in the deep. I don't think fish like have fear. So, I, so maybe they just, maybe it's just really cold. Okay, I'll come back in a minute and see if he swims off. He seems to be doing so much better right now than he was in the beginning, I thought for sure. When he went belly up, we were in trouble. But he's, uh, he's actually swimming around now, so good. Well, he's gone. Wait, wait, I think I see him. Swimming right there. Okay, 
I think he's okay now. Well, he swam away. I can see him about two feet down, maybe, maybe a foot and a half. It is over. End of a fish era. End of a fish era, yes sir. Oh, who is that? Who is that baby? Who is that who guy? Is that? Oh, that little is he a diglish guy? so thin now and a little bit shorter, but now I can air dry it and it won't take six days. It looks fluffier. Looks Look, you though. can actually like touch my scalp. The I know. Maybe so there being like a bump right there. Mm -hmm. I can wash my hair and it won't take four years now. Well, isn't it crazy that the did Danielle and Ty are actually married now after helping them move some stuff from Ty's house today, tonight? and over to Danielle's, not Danielle's house anymore, Danielle and Ty's house, kind of got real, kind of felt real, because it is real. Like, Sarah and I are moving in on this next year, celebrating 25 years of marriage, and it's just interesting to think about. It seems like yesterday that we were married, just working my Marillax uh, mixture here. And I thought, you know, one of the things that really has helped me so much with some of the things that have been difficult is to enjoy the moment. You know, hard times become enjoyable times if you can stop and just think about being in the moment and how hard you've worked to get to where you're at. You know, Sarah and I have worked really hard to get to where we're at 25 years later. 25 years ago, we would have loved to have the relationship we have now. We would have, we would have loved to have you know, our kids and, and be able to have the relationship we have with our kids right now. And we've been fighting and working and, you know, doing everything we can to get to that point. And now that we're here, why not enjoy it, right? Why not really, truly appreciate the moment? I think we get too caught up in, you know, tomorrow and maybe even what happened yesterday. Caught up in the past maybe a little bit and maybe too caught up into the future about what could happen or what we're working for next. But how often do we just sit and think about how incredible it is that we made it to this point? It's pretty awesome. Let's say you're 15 years old and you really wanna get your license and you get your license in your state at 16. And you work so hard and you learn and you study and you get the test passed. And you, just, you just can't wait to drive and then you get that license. And you got it, and it's so fun, and you got to drive your own car, and you get to drive your friends around, and you're doing all these different things. Well, you turn 16, 17, 18. How often do you get inside of your car and go, wow, I get to drive a car. How cool is this? I just think, for me, to just sit here and look at where I'm at, and not where I could be, and not dwell on where I've been, is so important for my health. Give it a shot, give it a try. Remember, 
No one should love you more than you love yourself because you are worth it.